Microphone check. You already know the Gemini Scorpio podcast, episode 60. We here. Uh, Mr. J Hill, I'm here. Killer Bay is here. Yeah, the whole gang is in the building. Uh, we got Brandon in the building, one half of Catch 22 Hookah, uh, Catch 22 360. If you ever need a camera and shit, the whole little 360 camera, you can holler at them. You need a hookah. You know what I'm saying? Holler at them. They got everything. We got my guy, Lante Base God, is in the building on uh, our guest shot. We got Sherm in the building on like two cameras. Joseph D. Friend is in the building. Pink Celebrity, our assistant slash fucking um, everything. everything. Like she does everything. <laughs> and Alexander the Blanc is here. What up, dog? And the, and the creases. In the, in the, in the, in the <laughs> trenches. In they got him in the trenches. I'm in the trenches. I'm going to the... tell y'all why he in the trenches because we got a special guest here. Asia, my guy, Hellzell. Hellzell. Yes, sir. I said it right because yes, I be sir. so used to saying like Hellzell, but it's not Hellzell. Oh, wow. It's not, right? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, my, it's, my name is Azel, but yeah, Hellzell is my... Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, nah, was, we good. Because what, what is it spelled on Instagram? Hellzell, H-A-I-L underscore Z-E-L. That's actually right, hell, right? That's hell, right? Yeah. Hell. Right, that's what I was saying. I'm like, hell. it's not Hellzell, right? Hell. Hell. I wasn't crazy. <laughs> 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 I was like, all right, all right, all right, cool. We got my guys Zell and Asia in the building, a beautiful couple. Um, yes, we got a couple in the building. Yeah. Zell just broke my motherfucking table. Hey, don't do that. See what I'm saying? I should have. You know we should have talked about that being off the record. You know <laughs> but let's just talk. No, 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 no. And, and, and you were and you were super nice about Thank it. You. And, to, and, and, and told me and told me not to worry. Exactly. And you was and you was gonna get another one. I love the energy. So. I did, but I also said I'm gonna tell you about yourself on camera. Nah, because you know okay. I'm, I'm, like, I'm just joking. You gonna tell them about I yourself. actually broke my table. And then Zell contributed to my table being broken. I was going with the same look. <laughs> yeah. She said somebody broke her table at first, and then we found out it was her. I did. Like, yeah. the, I'm just. I'm a couple off, that stick together. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? Because. Like I was saying, I'm just, tripping, <laughs> I'm just tripping off the fact that like you try, yeah, he just broke my table when he broke it. She was like, "Don't worry about it. It's okay. We'll get another one." Like, that's what? the that's definitely the energy I felt. I am a multifaceted woman, <laughs> and sometimes I'm here, sometimes Multi I'm there. Multifaceted. Faceted. That's what oh, I thought. Wow. I mean, but I mean, shit. Who knows? Knew what she was I mean, y'all knew what the fuck <laughs> I meant. <laughs> Shakur, What's that? Shakuchi, multi face it, multi. Y'all know what the fuck I meant. <laughs> You feel okay. what I'm saying? You look good though, baby. Thank you, baby. We out here with the Milani on. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to Sos. Yeah, shout out to my guy Sos and Milani brand. Yeah. Uh, Yo, so, okay, also, uh, our bartender is on that way. If y'all wondering why we don't got the drinks, shout out to my guy, Mahees Brandy. That's a black-owned, DMV-owned uh, brandy. That's M-A-H-E-E-S, uh, Brandy, B-R-A-N-D-Y. So make sure yes, y'all check them out. We supporting everything black-owned. Um, I'm ready to get to the podcast. Y'all ready to get this shit started? All right, let's so first of all, how long y'all guys been together? Um, Go ahead. Uh-oh. <laughs> it was a little, probably like, it's about to be a year. Like, yeah. about to be a year, but I've known her. Uh, since what 2014? Yeah, yeah, since 2014. Yeah. So I've known been for friends seven. for a long time. That was my yeah. dog for the for for the longest. Oh, then. so you have like friends? Y'all decided to, to yeah. get together. So how yeah, did that work? Like, how, how did some things change? Cause I know it had to change. Um, it it did it did, but it changed it changed before it became like a a, a thing thing. Yeah, you know I mean, so like first it was it was kind of fake. I thought. I thought for her I was the fun guy. I mm. thought I'm like she just liked to go out with him. He was fun. I mean that's and that's what I but I was okay with that. I'm like shit. I don't know. Who, I'm like I don't know who she told. I know with me we have fun, we yeah. kick it and it's yeah. cool. Whatever happened, whatever after, cool. Yeah. Long like we just had a mutual respect Aww. and that's what it was. And then that just. Bluetooth. Oh, you said what now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They knew you how that. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but, um, He's talking for you. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, and it just I mean, and it just came to a point where. I know I couldn't. Um, I just I couldn't play, play around no more, and that's what it was. Yes. I couldn't play around no more, and she was she wasn't about to let me play around no more. It was like, look, I don't care what you. She's like, you might have your little. She said, but you won't do it with me. She said, and it won't yeah. be over here on this side. Okay. She, so, she said, so if you're gonna be on this side, you're gonna be on this side. So that happened yes. right before y'all got together, though. Yeah. yeah. So can we have this conversation real quick? Because I feel like shit. I feel like a lot of times, and I was just talking to my friend about this. How how did you feel in that moment, honestly, though? Um. With, see for me, I I, I kind of I was with it because I I waited, I was I was playing around for a long time, mm -hmm. like so I I knew the moves. I was tell, telling everybody like, man, she the one, but I just won't make that move. So when it was time, it was kind of like a relief for me. Mm -hmm. It was like shit about time. Like mm -hmm. I don't have nothing else. I don't. Ha I can't hide it no more. I don't yeah. have nothing else to hide. I could get rid of. You know what I mean? Everything. I ain't, I wasn't tripping no more. So for me, it was like a release. I'm like, fuck yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm here, I'm and I'm this. It. Yeah, I'm with. I'm with it. What's up? Now I feel like, cause I feel like as men, I think you know sometimes we definitely like rush into situations because we want to make our partner happy, or not even partner, cause they not our partner at the moment, <laughs> right? But it's like we don't. We're so scared to lose that person. So it's like, be be with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show yeah. you that I'm faithful. Mm -hmm. or I'm, I'm I'm gonna show you that I'm loyal to you by being with you. And I feel like a lot of times as men, 
we make that mistake unconsciously yeah. and just immaturely because mm -hmm. we want to show our love for and sure. whole time on the back end it kind of like yeah. come back and bite us in the ass yeah. if, like he wasn't ready for if it wouldn't have happened with the time and it happened it probably wouldn't have been right mm -hmm. you know what I mean think, I'm sorry Go I think ahead. it's a difference between a woman like giving you an ultimatum and giving you a choice yeah, okay. yeah. you know what I'm yeah, saying so like true. it wasn't like you either you do this or this yeah. or like, nah, it's, it's like you got you can decide right. but you're not about to play in my face yeah. exactly. like so it's your choice and that's we exactly friends. how that shit yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I respect it because we were so cool, and that's my yeah, dog. I'm like, you understood. I'm like, and I, res understood. I respect you that much that even if I say I can't do this, we could still be good. You yeah. know what I mean? So, yeah. I was gonna ask you, what's the difference between like make an ultimatum and a choice? Like, what's mm -hmm. the difference? I feel like it, it can be close to similar. Honestly. Yeah, I mean, it's all in delivery. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, an ultimatum is like do this, and if you oh, don't, yeah. I'm gonna do this. And to me, if, if somebody give me an ultimatum, it's like. I'm not doing it. Yeah, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Don't what? Do that. If you give me a choice and and give me space to make a decision, it's like it's it, it automatically feels like trust. Yeah. Yeah. But you know? yeah. if you say so, I, but I, I say I think it's similar because like even if we're talking, we friends, right? Mm -hmm. I definitely want to respect your boundaries and respect uh where you coming from. But if you say you know um either we're gonna make this, let's just say it's for hypothetically you won't make this exclusive, and if you don't, then you can't deal with me. That's mm -hmm. kind of ultimatum though, right? That's why. I, that's giving. Mm, I that's think a, that's more of an ultimatum. That's I think ultimatum. For, for me, what she was like, I don't know. She just demanded certain mm. a certain way that she was going to be treated. A, right. cer a certain way, like not necessarily telling me what I was going to do, but what she was going to go for. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, bro, we can still. Yeah, yeah we can. Take. We we yeah. work. We got a business together. Like we worked. She's like we can still. Like we good. Like but this part that we playing with, we can't play with. She mm -hmm. like we can't for the sake of us, we can't play with that. Yeah. So. If we going, we either going to do it or we not. So like, right. there's no point in even us playing. Like, and we yeah. still, you still my dog. And I'm like, nobody even kept, like, ever kept yeah. it. I do the bank. I do that. Like, that's yeah. me. Like, look, what you, yeah. you know what I mean? So when she came at me, I'm like, damn, right, shorty. Right, like, who right, you? Right, right. But I liked it, though. You know what I mean? I was, I was <laughs> with it, though. Yeah, yeah. Thank I you was, for giving me me. <laughs> not for real. And, yeah. I mean, I was with it. And we was both able, you know what I mean, push it on the table. She pushed yeah. it on the table. And it's like, like, she know me in and out, like, yeah. to and through. Like, I, that's my dog. Yeah. And, and vice versa. So. When it was time, it just it was super. It was easy. I was like, man, bet. I'm like, yeah. cool. I ain't got this. Yeah. I, ain't got this. Yeah. I, mean, I love it here. You know what right. I mean? So, yeah. I no, I love that man because I feel like I think women do a great job at like making us step into our purpose, yeah, for sure. right? Yeah. And like make, making us grow up, honestly. But I think sometimes we can be a little bit mature and put our foot down in moments when we aren't as ready. But we want is like because some things, you know, some things aren't always on purpose and intentional. But they say the road to hell is paved with mm. uh what unintentional good intentions. Yeah. Good intention. Mm. The, the, the road to hell yeah. is paved with good intention. So it's like, yeah, I wanna show you this or show you that I'm ready, but I sometimes we gotta be real with ourselves yeah. as well. But that's why I was asking. Yeah, Cause sure. I feel like Shaw did something mm -hmm. similar mm -hmm. and I always joke with like man she forced me, but she ain't really forced me. She just told me straight up like, yo, yeah. you know what I'm saying, we gonna do this or yeah. And that's We're what not. it in the right, right okay. and everybody and girls girls have said that and everybody don't get the sense yeah, like okay yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, I was waiting for you to say it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. I mean like, I was to say what are, what are we you like nothing <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, so yeah. like, what are we yeah. <laughs> so it was um like girl I, I think women should do it. I think yeah. women women got yes. a whole lot of power exactly. that they don't know exactly. and if they were to stand in their power you'll be able to see the right one gonna do the right yep. things for the yep. I, I promise you because yep. this another girl could have said the same exact thing she told me and I'm like. I'm a I think for women too. I think so, uh, a lot of women will like because I've done this in the past. It's like you know, well, I'm gonna give him what he wants because if I give him what he wants, then eventually he'll give me what never he wants. That's like not that. that's never been true. Never. Like you know, and that's something I learned growing up. Like you can't, they not responding to that because they really just gonna take what you give them. And you know, we could stay this forever. However, if you put your foot down and you say, look, I'm just a one. I'm a, look. This is how I respect me. You gotta respect me the same. And mm. you know. They treat you how you want to be treated. And now, but in a healthy relationship, I think that I've learned that that's also a tool that kind of works, yeah. right? Like, yeah. I have to kind of be the person I want him to be mm -hmm. for me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm By saying? Example. Like, right, yeah. exactly. So, like, if he just automatically, um, or if I don't automatically um, uh, show, like, his love language in a way, like, he he's doing, he's showing his love language first. Yeah. And now I'm understanding, Sitting, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He's giving it yeah. to me first. And then I can kind of, you know, Yo, catch on, you catch on. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy that you said we that because I feel like we, we do that unintentionally all the time, right? Like you said, he's going to show you his love language and he's only giving you what he wants, yeah. right? Yeah. But mm -hmm. we got to learn how to give what you want. Exactly. Yeah. But that's yeah. just what we do as humans because yeah. like, yo, I want 
I want this from you, so I'm giving it to you. Yeah. But it's like, sweetie, I don't even want that. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, but you gotta give me what I want, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like a part of that is is selfish, but it's nothing wrong with being selfish because, yeah. like, sometimes as long as we got a good medium, like you say, balance, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I just feel like we gotta understand when and when not to, mm -hmm. right? When to draw that line, and that brings us to the conversation of uh, Malcolm and Marie. Yeah, right. Y'all watched it, right? Yes. yes. What did y'all think? Kind about of that? What you, what you, babe, what you think about that? <laughs> you gonna go oh, around and around wow. with this one first? So, um, you know, I watched it and I think we all concluded that we all fell asleep on it in the beginning. The first, first time. First the first time we all fell asleep. Or... Exactly. We didn't even watch it together. <laughs> Them, us, we all yeah. fell asleep in separate households, right? <laughs> so, um, but as I watched it, you know, I actually watched the whole thing. Go ahead, For babe. those that don't know, yeah. Alex, if you could just give us a quick break. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. basically, uh, a director, it's a one night a director and his girlfriend are being tested after they record, return home from a movie premiere for people that don't know it's uh john washington is playing the director and his girlfriend is Zendaya, and basically they're just being tested after a night of what should be a celebration turned into turmoil hmm. Hey, real quick, I, he, he on it. Yeah. I'll be on it. That's from the calls to the yeah. nah, for that's, real. That's I, our producer. I, I, he does and I, his and thing. And I, I say I respect yeah. that so much, man. I appreciate you, bro, yeah. for real. We, yeah. we, 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 we love Alex. And that's, we before, love. that's before we even step in yeah. this, Like, that's who I'm talking. I'm like, damn, that was all right. Yeah. I, mean, I looked at the email like, damn, like, oh, shit. Like, I don't know what I would have done what I Because I wouldn't have I would have DM'd you like, yo. Every time I got your number, I'm like, yo, you trying to pull up? You did. You did. Like, yo. Like, yo, you trying to pull up, bro? You fucking with the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But nah, so I'm sorry, babe. Uh, what, what did you? So, um, so watching the whole entire movie, after I watched it, I actually, I liked the movie itself. Like, I thought the actors did a great job. I thought, you know, just having it look like one big night mm -hmm. and so much crammed into that big night, I thought it was, like, just awesome. Um, as far as the relationship, I, I didn't really care for a lot of it. So what I didn't like was the constant, um, just really nitpicking mm -hmm. to the core though. Yes. Like, you know, I think like everybody, you know, kind of picks here and there, mm -hmm. but that was to me really low picking. And I'm just not fond of low picking. You know, I don't think really dancing on somebody's pains is ever a good thing. You know what mm. I mean? Which made it hard for me to believe that, you know, they didn't really leave us with much at the end and like, do they stay together or do yeah. they break up? Like, you know, it didn't really leave me feeling like they should be together. Mm -hmm. I definitely thought it was one of those things. Well, okay, you guys know it's time to walk away now. Like this isn't really an ideal situation to be, be in, even in love. Like, you know, I just don't think love should come with that much, of just, I'm trying to find the perfect word I want to use for that, Dang. but just, it, it's just, I'm talking to you like you're my enemy at this point. You know what I'm saying? And, and to be honest, I don't even think I would tap like, dance on my I enemy I like, like that. I don't like you at all. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't like you, and I don't it's even want to talk to nobody yeah. like that. To that, you know what I'm saying? Like it was, it was just, you know, that was distasteful to me. Um, you know, yeah, that's that's mainly how I felt leaving the movie. So. Y'all can jump in whenever y'all ready. <laughs> uh, I don't. So I don't agree with that only because this is why, right? So for for the sake of television, I do think they put things in extremes, right? But if I'm looking at this movie, I think that metaphorically, this is movie is representation of, of a relationship, mm -hmm. right? And okay. I think, and I was gonna ask you how have y'all year been because I know throughout three years mm -hmm. we've had those fights, mm -hmm. we've had mm -hmm. those times where we talked to each other when it didn't mm -hmm. sound like we yeah. liked each other at all. Yeah. We mm -hmm. did things that was mm -hmm. shit. That no couple would de dare yeah. share and mm -hmm. swear yeah. that this wasn't so true. right yeah. or, or judge us and be like this is toxic. Mm -hmm. However, you know what I when I when I looked at the movie, hearing all the critics, I'm like, I think everybody wrong, honestly. Really? And, yeah, and I'm gonna tell you why because I feel like you know in the movie, everybody is focused on the toxicity of the relationship, mm -hmm. but they don't understand. They don't focus on the roller coaster ride of it. Okay. And I feel like a relationship is a roller coaster Absolutely. ride. We're trying, we're trying, like we're going to have our ups and our downs. That's yeah. what a relationship mm -hmm. is. And in the movie, I feel like you know he came home, he was upset. I mean, he was excited. Yeah. He just he just got this uh this film and uh like and like showing and everything. He's mm -hmm. excited as hell, and she's like. My nigga, you ain't even thank me, yeah. right? So I understand both sides. Like, yo, at this moment, yeah. you want to bring up me not thanking and you. She ain't, she ain't let it. That was her thing. She ain't let it go either. Right? And it's not even that, but it's like she didn't even. You didn't even let me bask in my glory. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, I did let you bask in your glory throughout the entire party. 
I'll let you have it. Mm-hmm. And so now that we're home, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. we can address the real issues. Yeah. And so, but I want to talk about how I felt about the movie mm-hmm. too. Because coming from somebody who like I was waiting for the movie, yeah. the trailer to me yeah. depicted yeah. exactly what you're talking yeah. about. A full scope of a relationship, yeah. right? It was the argument. It was him busting the door and saying, you know what? You get on my fucking nerves yeah. and I fucking love you. And, right. You know right, what I'm right, saying? It was right. a great balance of mm-hmm. like what it fe- feels like to yeah. be in a re- in a relationship, especially in the middle of a pandemic, sitting in a, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Like exactly. being in one space exactly. for the entire movie. And then when you watch the movie, it's just like, I'm exhausted. Like yeah. there was no, I don't know if anybody noticed, but. They never had sex. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that, so, that, I think, yeah. so I heard a couple people talk about <laughs> yeah. that. But what I would say is like, I to say it was exhausting, right? At first, when I first watched it, I fell asleep. I was like, I was yes. over it. But when mm-hmm. I watched it again, watching it all the way through, I loved it because, again, I love that roller coaster ride. So, yeah, they didn't have sex, mm-hmm. but they made out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They, they kissed multiple times. Mm-hmm. Like, they, they, they were talking to each other, joking with each other multiple times as much as they was being toxic, right? Mm-hmm. So, I feel like that, yeah, they might not have had sex, mm-hmm. but that they... It wasn't just a full night of arguing like everybody say in my perspective, right? Mm-hmm. Because I feel like it was moments where they wasn't arguing. Yeah. It was moments where she, they was laying on the floor, they was talking to each other. You know what I'm saying? It was moments yeah, like that. Okay. So mm-hmm. I feel okay. like we skipped all those parts just like we do in life and not saying y'all, but I feel yeah. like uh-huh. a lot of yeah. people like, why, we, we always say like, you know, um, it's always the negative things that's going to attract people, right? Yes. That's the things that go viral and shit For like sure. that. And the movie, it's like, it was a full night of arguing. Like, no, it wasn't. If you was paying attention, it wasn't. They, if, if if I'm if if I'm thinking like, first it was it was it was definitely a relationship. Mm-hmm. Um, it was definitely a roller coaster. It was it it was just it was a lot. I, I didn't like the he went he went crazy. And I yeah, understand like I'm talking yeah, about yeah. when you go low, you go lower <laughs> yeah. type jump. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he went crazy. I was like, damn. And right. I think for me, um, yeah, it's real. I think I had a lot of real situations. Me personally, I'm looking at. It, I'm like. Even for me, the person I like, and, I mean, and when we have our real times, it almost, which I think like why she can, if she was to cry, it's over for me. Yeah. Mm. Cause I can't sit there and look at no, nobody mm-hmm. I love that much, mm-hmm. her like that. So yeah. when Cubs was going in like that, I was like, damn. Yeah. So let me ask you this and, though. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <clears throat> and um, I also thought just like, even with the highs that they were having, I felt like they didn't equal out to the mm. actual tension. Like, okay. I feel like the tension was so high that there was no moment that actually showed enough love to even it. trump that. You yeah. get what I'm saying? That so at that point, it's the bad is outweighing the good. It was yeah. one of you know what I mean? It just seemed like time. It's like They just put time in. So yeah. they really just holding on to yeah. time. He didn't, he, yeah. he, mo- he didn't had her through her worst times. And as much as she needed yeah. him, he probably yeah. needed her for yeah. some of that stuff. And and, and that was just... my problem. I thought that, you know, and one of the terms, you know, we brought up uh, in our meeting was trauma bonding. Mm-hmm. And I felt like mm-hmm. a lot of it had to do with like, you know, like you said, mm-hmm. when she was down and she was on the drugs and these things, he helped her get clean. But there was a lot of that they were highlighting about um, him dating broken women as uh-huh. a trend. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it was almost like, okay, he was attracted to her for that to fill whatever void he needs to do that. And she needed him to make him clean so at that point they stuck together right. because that's they were trauma bonding mm-hmm. at that point and i think when you're when at that point the relationship is the traumas that added on but mm-hmm. they already had traumas at the, the beginning, beginning they where they yeah. weren't healthy enough yeah. to even have a healthy dynamic of a relationship but i think so. you know like i think everything starts at of course we talk about this mm-hmm. when anytime you build something you need that foundation right mm-hmm. right i feel like us as african-americans period like we never we Unless we just had, even when people that have good, what we call right, good Right, because he came from right? a good family. Right. She said he came like from a two-player household, mm-hmm. great uh-huh. education, yeah. and all that. So I feel like we start off at a disadvantage just because, like, we aren't we aren't used to seeing how to cope with our trauma. You yes. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We we mm-hmm. only we don't even know how. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so when I, when yeah. I look at this, when, and I hear you say, you know, um, they 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 looking at time and they yeah. they, they basing that relationship about time. I feel like that's so normal because. Yeah. Why not? Oh, like, yeah, if, yeah. I, like yeah. again, we've been together for three years, mm-hmm. and a part of our three years, I can't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be telling the truth. I sit here and say a part of that. It was been times where it's like, man, nah, I wanna, I wanna thug this out just because I wanna be on the other side and say yeah, yeah, yeah. we made it through, yeah. right? Yeah, like, yeah. like I wanna yeah. be a part yeah. of that. I, I get, yeah. I think, and I think from I was with somebody for five and was like, fuck, how the fuck did I stay yeah. in that joint for five? Yeah. So when I talk about Ooh. time, I'm like, 
I know I stayed in that joint strictly for time. Exactly. Because I want, because I'm like, something got to be on the right. other side. But one shit on the other side. Right. It, it, I mean, right. the more right. negativity. And I also think, like, you know, even moving through a relationship, I just feel like it has to elevate at some point. So, like, if we're exactly. having these arguments and they're not getting better, like, okay, we were bad that time and months later That's we get better exactly. and we, we handle these situations better. And then from that time we even get we better. And then that, mm-hmm. at that point, that's to me, I could work with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But something that is just stagnant you and just continuously yeah. being this argument and just this argument it just seems like there's no growth there you know right. what i'm saying it's just no growth there and that is why like i understand what you're saying like you know i want to thug this out with you like yeah we got you know like even us we you know we've had arguments we've been together three years and we've hit low blows before you know but we've also grown tremendously mm-hmm. since then you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying and even with arguments that may not be perfect they are not that yep. and, and we, that i could so work with you know what i mean let's talk like, about so like a bar. Exactly. Like we'll let's, never go let's, back there. Let's talk exactly. about those, those yeah. low moments, right? Yeah. So let's say even hypothetically, let's say on the other side of me, right? When I was saying, I think this is a metaphor for a relationship, right? Let's say if it's just that one night, right? I feel like we've had nights. So we haven't had nights that long. Right. Uh-huh. We've had nights like that. Absolutely. Okay. You know okay. Yeah. Like yeah. To, Same here. To go, right. to go to your point when you were saying like, even when she's crying, like when we don't know where they are at that, yeah. Yeah, that relationship. Part because yeah. Cause honestly, I feel like. It's, and this is this isn't right. I'm mm-hmm. just saying for sake of understanding and being devil's advocate, right? Just being transparent. I could see the frustration if let's say if I don't know if you're crying and I always see you cry and and I don't know you cry when we trying to have these conversations. I could see how that could be frustrating because like bro, I'm just trying to talk to you. Yeah, right? I don't mean sure. nothing by yeah, it, right? Sure. And let's yeah. talk about the low blows, right? We always say like, I think we have these conversations, and of course y'all hear the difference. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So so I feel like ladies can hit low, and I feel like. But when you can, when you have somebody that can hit low, this isn't okay. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's like you want your revenge. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I feel like. We human. Yeah, right. Yeah. And it's like, yo, so like when I see the movie, I'm not really judging him for this partic- in particular because I don't know the background mm-hmm. of it. So it's like, I don't know how much she hurt him to make him yeah. want to do that, even though that's not right. We need help. We yeah. need to get help. Mm-hmm. Clearly, I just wouldn't judge. I wouldn't look yeah. at it and be like, oh, no, nah, that nigga that is wildin'. Yeah. If I anything, I looked at it and it made me like, yo. He was, hurt. he was hurt. Yeah. Exactly. He was, he was hurt. Exactly. She yeah. said she said he had, uh later on, like she had said how she had cheated on him. Yep. Or something yep. like or something mm-hmm. like that. And like she mentioned that. So I'm pretty I mean, yeah. we know men men deal with we we yeah. dealing with her a little bit, you know what right. I mean? Like we gotta do yeah, better yeah. with that. Right. 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 And we 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 absolutely have to do better with that. So I, I definitely agree with we don't know. What we yeah. seen, we literally seen one after yeah. one night. We don't know what That's true. You know what I mean the dynamic of the relationship is. We don't know what's what low blows she she has it or hit. All but they were both comfortable with yeah. the low blows right. like yeah. we set out boundaries it's like yeah. we'll never yeah. go to certain to, things that yeah. i'm just i'm going to sit on just out of respect for yeah. him yeah. you know like, what i'm saying i'm gonna make sure i can deliver this message in the best way that yeah. i can just strictly off of respect for exactly. him exactly see like, i think we've got go ahead we've man. gotten to that point but from trial and error. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yes. It, it wasn't yes. like yes. you walked into yeah, yeah, but you yeah, gotta yeah. have a terrible yeah, time yeah. to be like, yeah. damn, we can't I ain't like that. that. And well, we, right. had a, we had a terrible time one time and we had to come out like, yo, I ain't like that. If hell with who was wrong or who yeah. was right. Yeah. We can't that was like, no for us. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, ain't, I ain't feel, I ain't like We've that. Had those I ain't moments. like how I yep. felt. I know you ain't like, I ain't like how you felt. You ain't like how I felt like. And if anything, what I, what I, one of my takeaways was like, instead of judging him, it made me like think of, okay, I remember when she was talking to him, like she was like, yo, you ain't thanked me. And he automatically kind of like made it about him, but mm-hmm. rightfully so because that night was about him and his and his perspective, right? But at that moment, I'm like, bro, just listen. Yeah. And and when he when he responded how he responded, I'm like, damn. And this is, I guess, is a question yeah. for the ladies. Like, is this how I come off? Even I'm looking at him mm-hmm. and I'm yeah. like, yo, he's mm-hmm. crazy. Right. Yeah. But I'm like, look at you judging him, right? Yeah. And I'm just thinking like, damn. Did I ever do come y'all off that think way? we come off like that? Even if it might not be to that point, but we trying to explain yeah. ourselves, but do yeah. y'all take that as, you're not even listening. Well, I think I think that his character was extreme in some ways. Yeah. Um, but I do feel like his defensiveness mm. is is one thing that can kind of get in the way, mm-hmm. right? And it's, and it's all about like perception and what you're hearing. Okay. So I'm telling you that, you know, you didn't thank me and that felt away. And I kind of get this from you. Um, no, I mean, it's a good thing. It's a no, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go. I mean, I'm learning from you. Like, affirmations. Look, the ladies is here with the affirmations, you know, and I just want to highlight one that. Okay. No, no, thank you. Good. Say what you're going to say. You're good. So, no, um, your, per- your perception of me telling you that, like, you know, you didn't thank me, and I felt this way, yeah. and I've been holding it in all night, yeah. is like, 
what is this really about? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're automatically defensive and you can't even hear right. what I'm saying. I didn't right. come at you with any type of right. tone. I didn't, but like, you're automatically on a defense. And that can come from, and that can come from your family. That can come from the environment that you've been in that you automatically, and as black men, yeah. you automatically got to be on defense, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so you don't understand that as your partner, I'm not. I'm not trying to offend you. I'm yeah. not. We're, we're on the same team. It's yeah. crazy because I yeah. feel like it's the opposite. Yeah. What? what you over mean? here. Like I feel like. Because I'm, sure 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 like, I'm sure y'all do. Like I feel like be just like. Because I was about to say. Always on defend. I'm like, I, oh, <laughs> babe, I'm on your team. It's like. <laughs> well, uh, something I want to uh, highlight that she said was the perception aspect, and mm, we just talked okay. about this because um, I do think that happens a lot. Like, mm. we perceive something completely different of what's being delivered. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. really what our eyes see. Yeah. Like you know fuck what it is it's this is what my eyes see right and like you said like when she said that she didn't come off no way mm-hmm. she was just like you you know i watched you thank everybody who didn't thank me like and he was just like how dare you say that to me yeah. you get what i'm saying like mm-hmm. what you mean i ain't thank lord, you lord, I, that was a little trick and i i not that I, i'm not about to say i feel him but even the back what you were saying <laughs> when it come to that and it could have something to do from from like I know as, as a as a young and I got blamed for everything in the crib. I don't fuck what happened. I did. Real. I'm something that's missing. Real. I did it. I did right, it. That's so real. like we up in the crib and like yeah. she like um, damn, how that catch up get right? I'm like I ain't I do. I'm like, yeah, I, 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 I'm like, like I she asked. like damn, boy, I'm just asking. I'm I like, was just asking where the catch you know up I mean? go. And, and I had to like <laughs> like learn that and like she she brought it to my attention a couple times. Like boo, you a little yeah. tricky for that. She yeah. like and I'm not blaming you. She like. Was you? Then we had to sit there and talk. Right. And I feel like I'm with a damn therapist. Right. And I'm like, well, my mom always brings. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but that's what I say. Like, you know, it's obviously I feel like Shadé always yeah. do that. She was like, you're not my dad, or like, you don't have to teach me something. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, that's like not, I'm not trying yeah. to be a dad. Like I'm yeah, not trying yeah. to be a teacher. I'm just yeah. trying to help you. It'd be, like, it'd be, it'd be some internal. Shit. Yeah, I yeah. Had, it I literally do. had to like be like, I I know you on my team. So even when you right. telling me something or like, did you do that? Right. You literally like. Did right. you do that? Yeah, yeah right. I mean, you're <laughs> no, no, that's true. And I think, and I think we just had this conversation too. And I think uh, something else that I could keep right there is like, she said what happened, and he went in to tell his why. Yeah, yep. mm. right. Mm. And that's something mm. that Jay and I just been having a conversation about. Is like when I tell you something wrong, is that your place to tell me your why, or is that your place to kind of take your accountability mm. and responsibility? Mm-hmm. You get so what I'm saying? So why did y'all draw that line though? Because I think. <clears throat> I, I they, think they draw where they want, then they erase it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, I was okay. okay. So it's I kind of, right so I kind of <laughs> asked her this that this morning, yeah. like literally, because I feel like you know my why is so we can build understanding. Because yeah. I feel like the again, I say this so many times, the gray areas make us human. Right. So like I, I'm not trying to erase. I can take full accountability, but if you mm-hmm. understand why I did it, then maybe exactly. we can we can come yeah. to some. I did that and for so, a reason. And yeah. so what I learned. Um, with him, I feel like I'm more of the, uh, on the why. Like, I, I want you to understand why That's I did it. it. But what I had to learn with him is that I have to take accountability mm-hmm. first. Okay. Yes. And so the, the, way the, yes. conversation, <laughs> yes. the way the conversation. The way the conversation. Take it first. Take it. Like, you said, did it first. Yes. Yeah. Then come to me. Like, okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> the conversation should have went. Uh, oh my God! I'm sorry. It really should have happened at the party because she because they talked about it at the party, mm. and but she was like, "It's okay." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let me let you. Ha- I'm gonna let you have your moment. And really, he should have got up on that stage at the party and got yeah. on the mic and said, "I also just want to make sure I thank my lady." Exactly. So let me ask y'all something. So, though. Let exactly. me ask y'all something. So because I feel like I get this a lot from yeah. uh, Shadé Far as like me being uh, condescending or mm-hmm. um, I think that's the right word, right? Mm-hmm. It, well, is. it is. It is. Yeah. So so <laughs> let's talk about this though, right? If you really that's had the I'm problem, saying. right? Why not just talk? So what? I was gonna say, is that a man thing? Like, I don't know. That's like, what I'm asking. We, we just come off condescending. Like, if, if it you, probably is. If I'm you sure had I'm... that problem, no. But I think no. I was about to say for her. Because, <laughs> like, I'm saying, like, if you had Thanks. that problem, right, you're you trying to save me. When I came, I came in the house. I'm excited. I'm dancing. Uh, I'm lit. You stand offish. Yeah, you make me uh make um uh macaroni, macaroni and cheese. cheese. Cool. Thank you for that. But it's like I, I didn't tell. She took too much pride in that craft, Mac. Yeah, too. no, that was his favorite. <laughs> okay, because that's all you deserve. You didn't thank me, so you're getting. You're lucky. You're getting mac and cheese tonight. You're lucky. I'm one of the Oh, right. boys, and I could have put that bitch in the damn gown. So, so what I was gonna say is, but look, he came, he came home, he's excited, right? She's not showing no type of enthusiasm or, or, or no, whatsoever. I, and I seen that and she was asking her what's wrong. She's saying nothing. And then when I try to have the conversations, like you're not even capable of having a, a, a I don't know the exact words she said, but like basically you're not even capable of de-escalating, uh, de-escalating, uh, yes. arguments yes. if you get there, right? Yeah. Yes. That right there for me is like, no, yo, that's was, condescending, she, as, condescending as fuck. And like, what I want to do, I do want to highlight me. that she was very much, she had some toxic going on with her as well. It was not just on the man's side because you're right. Thank when you. she, when she did come in, <laughs> <laughs> when 
when she when he Asia did try like, to <laughs> <laughs> he like yeah. <laughs> which uh, when they did come in she was kind of outside she was rolling her eyes smoking uh-huh. a cigarette he was talking she'd go back and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like and you know at the end of the day in that moment I think she should have just like look we're yes. home let's talk about this because I know you're basking too. in your energy yeah. and I, you know I ain't trying to look like a buzzkill but listen you know what mm-hmm. I mean because it was coming off really condescending right. at that point yeah I think they, so, I ain't gonna what you, what you about to say? Sure. I think yo I ain't gonna lie though the nigga was wild. like she was it was some things that I didn't like but he was when it came down to it, he was wild. like when she said it I'm just thinking like bro First, the first thing I thought was like, "Whoa, you ain't thank her." Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, like, I think everybody, yeah. I think wow. that's when the pin <laughs> drop for everybody. That, yeah. that was the first thing because I don't care what what show, yeah. anything yeah. I do, yeah. that first, anything. The first Same person I go yeah. to right is, is right because I'm not doing none of this yeah. shit without her yeah. anyway. Yeah. So the first person I'm going with is right. So even like that, I was like, "Damn." And I think wilding. that's where the underlying issues came from because as she spoke, she kept saying like, "That's subconsciously how he deals with her yes. on the regular." Exactly. And it's and, not just mm-hmm. in the speech. It was that's how you deal with me all the time. So of course you wouldn't really think to thank me there yeah. because you treat me like this all the time and i think that was more so her message of what she was trying to get across mm-hmm. at that mm-hmm. shout out to lexi in the city hey, hey lexi oh, yeah. oh, yeah. nice hey babe got the drinks popping thank you thank, thank, you. thank, thank, you. thank, you. thank you. you so much you. Appreciate you. you already know lexi in the you. city oh, yeah. three Let x's four y's make sure you book her for your events and all your cocktail needs shout out to my boo cheers. Yes, yeah, cheers, 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 cheers to healthy black couples. Cheers to healthy relationships. Sure. No, 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 man, no. What? I'm not cheers to healthy relationships and shit. Why? I'm cheers to growth. And real okay. relationships. Because I just Help. feel like, okay. yo, we're going to be toxic <laughs> sometimes. Is that not the... Because we're going to be toxic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're going to be toxic sometimes, and I feel like, let's stop. Jay love is toxic. Nah, I don't. I'm just saying, I'm just, I love the... the I love the... Mm. No, is this a word? Like, I just love the normal this is... Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like it's normal. It's like creamy almost. It's something so smooth. It's gonna be. It's, tell you, oh, it's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, Thank that's a you, Lex. So, so question though, because something that was interesting in the movie is the fact that it was his moment, right? And in relationships, everyone has their highs and your lows. So, like the seasons of success, like how do you feel like you should handle that when your partner is at their high and you know to support, or when you at your low, <laughs> or your or your partner is at your low to <laughs> let them shine? Like as far as shining that light, how does that go? <laughs> I mean, so here, here's also the thing. You're in a relationship, right? And so, honestly, th- there's really no such thing as your moment. Mm. It's our moment. No, no yeah, matter man, you what. You got me. Like, no, no matter what, like, we, we, we've done this together. You know what I'm saying? Like, period. And I'm so thankful to have a man who, like, we never had the discussion of, like, thank me or say this or yeah. say that. He yeah. automatically, like, yeah. probably knowing I needed it before I knew I needed it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He automatically gives me that yeah. love and shows me yeah. that, you know, appreciation. But it's it's our it's our moment. We're doing this together. And I think the reason why you may highlight on that, too, because if I, you know, just knowing the two of what they do, you know, there you guys are creatives and we know what entrepreneurship look like. You're creative. I'm new to, you know the entertainment side of it but again when you're with somebody we who's your first person you giving them ideas off to who you you know babe what should i do or how should we do this Mm -hmm. or you know and all the free consultation Mm -hmm. we give back like you know through that moment i think i do agree where it's like it is our moment because again i'm the first in line to you before anybody we live together we're here you're not going as soon as you leave there going there and having that conversation you're coming home first and then you're gonna have the conversation with me so it's not that i think you know and i definitely like you know for example like you may graduate you may do things that are definitely yours but to say that I wasn't right there with you in the mud to do it. I think that's just like it was a slap in the face for her, and I could see that. And, and she was the 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 basis behind. And that the whole, was, yeah, you know I mean, behind the whole jump. So I, I mean, you I, made it about me. Even thinking about that yeah. at that point, <laughs> even you know? when we talk, even like success. I do even. I, I know for me, um, like when you anything I do, like I'm, I include her. I don't even yeah. want to do it if I can't mm-hmm. include my youngin in it. Yeah. I don't even want to do it, whether yeah. it's behind us, whatever the hell. Mm-hmm. I, I just know she gonna have my best interest. Yeah. So. I mean, I even feel like that's it's, it'd be a genuine thing. Like, if you like that person, if you really supposed to be with that person, you like that person, you don't forget to thank that person. Yeah, like, real. on no successful, like, yeah, you know, like, because Jay's the same. Like, like, he's it. never not like not included me in yeah. everything. He, when it comes to sharing the light, I feel like you know it's okay to have your separate yeah thing, like for mm-hmm. sure, yeah, right? Yeah, for yeah. Sure, and I feel for like sure, it's, for sure. I think it's it's, it's I'm a, I'm talking about the, yeah. the roller coaster ride, yeah. right? I think it's dope to like highlight your partner when they're doing their own thing mm-hmm. right yeah. like i feel like if, if 
that's that's my time to be your cheerleader. Yeah, right. Right, right and right. and that's my time to show my gratitude yeah. for you in another way. Yeah. It don't always have to be us. Like yeah, yeah it don't have to. Yeah. It don't always have to be yeah. us. Right. Yes. It always don't have to be about right. me. It can be like yo. Man, you just dropped that vlog. That right. was lit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. I feel like when it comes to sharing, sharing the light, is that's okay. And even even when it like you said, like even when it comes to me having success, mm -hmm. come on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like let's not get it fucked up. Like yeah. like you haven't been there the entire time. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't I thank my woman? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like you can share it on both yeah. sides. And, yeah. I, and I think a lot of the issue was that. So you know, she was apparently trying to be an actor prior to she her being on drugs, mm -hmm. and she never made it. Mm -hmm. And it was a part where he was kind of highlighting, like, "Well, you didn't put that work in. Like, you know, don't be mad at me because I made it here and I got here." And it kind of really, it that that I didn't really like that part mm -hmm. because I felt like whatever her issues of why she didn't make it to being an actor yes that is what she has to deal with and i'm sure she kicks herself over it and you know later she was like you didn't cast me you know that's something i aspire to do and you never cast me and it's about me and he him telling her like well you know well i made it here you know what i mean i think man, that man was hurt you that, but that, that, that let's that, talk yeah, about that hey. for a second if y'all don't mind yeah right all right so let's let's sometimes we gotta be real yeah. right yeah so let's, yeah. let's talk about maybe that. Like, she wasn't yeah, yeah and, 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 sure. and I feel like, yeah. yeah, we can share things all yeah. the time. And I think that's one of the downsides of going into business with your partner because mm -hmm. it's like, yo, can you understand the reality mm -hmm. of this? Mm -hmm. At the right. end of the day, you stop for whatever reason. Right. I had my trials and tribulations as well, but I didn't but I stop. Yeah. So you yeah. think I'm a cast you and yeah. I don't even believe it. And it's not that I don't believe right. in you your work. Because I don't right. even know if you believe all the way in yourself. Yeah. Exactly. You that's stop. Real. Right. Yeah, that's so real. Like, that's it's real. It's not even like, for example, like, yeah. I have this YouTube thing. I've been trying to do this network, right? I'm letting mm -hmm. my girl do her, her vlog. I'm not mm -hmm. about to just automatically put you up there because I'm yeah. looking for consistency. And yep. no, it's nothing against yeah. you. That's just how he does his work. Business is business. We talk, we talk, we do business together. And we talk, we we do business with people who we're close to. I mean, one time I ain't get, I hosted this, I hosted events and I was hosting the same event. Then it was a bigger event like a bigger event on a bigger scale and for the same event. And I ain't get uh, I ain't get the call for it. And at first I felt a little personal because yeah. me and this person have a personal connection. But then I'm like, bro, you also not the person yeah. who they cast it for the junk. The dude they cast it got a million followers. Mm -hmm. Like he's been doing this shit for 10 yeah. years and you've been doing it for, for, for this. So I'm like, you gotta, I don't care what it is. The dynamic, of, the dynamics of business you got to it's it no, it's per, it, like you have to. Yeah, she know. I mean, even with us, like it's certain things I want. I want to be a part of a lot of the stuff she do because I know that shit yeah. gonna pop. But certain stuff it'd be like, nah. Or yeah. she'll yeah. fucking sprinkle. Yeah. It don't make sense. Or she'll or be, if she'll know it, she'll sprinkle me in yeah. that one. Be like, exactly. mm, go ahead, boo. Uh, you do gonna that. do this shit yeah. with this, and I be yeah. pressed. But yeah. you gotta know your partner and know yeah. that. But I, I agree. If it ain't your damn <clears> turn. <throat> It ain't yeah. your turn. You probably ain't, she probably so, ain't working so hard. So basically, Imani. we're saying that she should have respected the fact that, you know, you you didn't stay consistent yeah. in your journey. Make another film. Like did exactly, that or, exactly. Let's like because I, I love this conversation because it's definitely we're not talking about just one person, right? We talking about both. So yeah. I would say also his delivery is fucking ass. Yeah, I was just about like, to yeah. say like yeah. she asked. She, she 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 had tears in her eyes. She was very, you know, calm. She now like she her. now she got a, she got a problem too because like he her. was acting like he ain't like her. She got a problem too no, because. She Every single, uh, every other God scene. Damn, it's about it was, you. It was man, 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 brought it back. Me pee. Yeah. We about to come. We about to have man, sex. Man, yeah. like, yeah. like, I'm just being like, right. Right. Oh, yes, I'll leave. Right. Leave. Right. Said, don't that even think. Don't he said, think don't even think. I'm a pee. Right. I'm coming right back there. with tears in her eyes. Yeah, like, but she. That's where Jay was like, "Why does bitch keep arguing?" That's me. Why didn't you cast me? But again, like for my partner, I would have an answer. His answer was. Oh, so this was the, this was this was about yeah. the whole time. Yeah. That's you know bad. what I'm saying? And then and he went into yeah. his reasoning, Toxic, but we were okay. already arguing at yeah. that point. Okay. And so she had a, you know, she wanted to know. Yeah. Maybe she is unclear. And he could have kind of came with her with more so like softness, like mm -hmm. there, because it was sensitive to her. Like, mm -hmm. and you know, and you know, she, obviously she was on drugs prior, and you know, that's a whole nother battle that people deal mm -hmm. with, and and it's a hard battle that people deal with. So if that was the downfall of why she wasn't able to be that actor she aspired to be, why not just say like, "Bae, look, I know that's what you aspire to be, but for this specific film, I didn't think you were ready, but I could help you get ready yeah. for that he, next he one." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I could have helped you. Yeah. I think you know? you know when it comes to the basis of this. I think you know. The basis of it to me, even when I watched it through the end, I'm like, yo, I think she just want to feel appreciated. Mm -hmm. And I think he wants some respect. Because the only thing he was talking mm -hmm. about, it was through her, through the people that was giving him reviews and everything was like yes. respect. It's like, mm -hmm. yo, just respect me. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she just wanted to feel like 
wanted almost like I want to feel appreciated. My nigga, like yo, thank yeah. you. And I don't think nothing is wrong with that. I think, yeah. that's, that's regular. I think like, I think she had a solid point of, yeah. of, of wanting to feel appreciated. Ain't even yeah. like saying like I wanted you to thank me. I, I'm hundred percent with that. Yeah, I think because yeah. um yeah he, he, he bro, first of all you yeah. ain't thank her. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. I don't he's the I, reason why we're saying that all of this is toxic. So let me ask yeah. y'all. Let me ask, <laughs> let me ask y'all this. Though. And I agree. Let me ask y'all this though. <laughs> I don't agree with that. But, <laughs> it was definitely both of them. But let me ask you this. Do y'all feel like, what if he, is it a problem with me giving you love in person all the time, but not publicly? And let's go vice versa. Is it, do you think it could be a problem with me always showing you love in public and not enough privately? Mm. Now, when we say, <laughs> now when we say public, because of the, 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 the world we in, we saying like social media public. Yeah, let's too, say even, thing. even, let's say I'm always, when I'm on mm. stages, y'all want to thank my lady. You know what I'm saying? I love her. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't do nothing. Mm. But when I'm home, I'm not, not giving you. Nothing. I mean, not. Yeah, like, not, not, <laughs> I mean, I love you, of course. That was a shame. That was a shame. <laughs> like, nah, like, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here where I'm at right now. Let's say, like, the, the dynamic is I'm always giving you flowers in the public, but never in private. Yeah, that's or for sure. vice, ver- vice versa. I'm always giving you flowers in mm-hmm. private, but never in public. Like, where do we draw the line? Or, or what's, what's the, what's the I would matter? Love or either one. So I, I, one, I do think it's a balance, but I also, you know, sometimes certain people, like for example, like you'll get on social media. Some people don't post nothing about their personal life, but they'll just post their work. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you're that type of person, you just post your work. You don't, you don't even post your kids. You don't post your mama. Yeah, you know, I can't. And I came into it like that. I can't really expect all of a sudden you to just start throwing me on your gram and be mm-hmm. like, you know, whatever, rah rah rah. But I do think it's a calm balance, like you know, because at the same time that is your highlight reel, and you highlight your successes, and you highlight the things you love when you got your degree, when you got your new car, when you got, you know. So of course, as you know, I hope to feel you feel like you're the a prize too, you know, in that dynamic. Like, yeah, I want something. Like, it don't have to be an all the all the time thing, but I think I do, a good balance is. Uh, cool. So, if I'm giving you now, well, affirmations in the public all the time, but never in private. Now, that I think is a problem. That's wow. a problem. But because the other way that's a problem. Is, isn't, isn't. No, yeah, because I feel like that's our personal relationship at that point. Like, privately, we're always private. Like, you know what I mean? Publicly, I think is a choice, but privately, that's that's our choice to be in a relationship. So, if you're not giving it to me privately or publicly, when are you giving it to so me? So, if I'm giving it to you privately all the time, but never publicly. Publicly, that's a problem too. I'm not saying not necessarily that's a problem, but I do what think it depends. I'm confused, no. <laughs> I think I think what the the key word was balance, right? And right. so I think we kind of have that going on. He is social media, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And so the people that he communicates Damn, that's with, big. On, he is social media. No, I'm, that's I mean, lit. <laughs> you lit, bro. <laughs> 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 that is IG. No. This nigga is IG <laughs> you, you, Hey, Boosie, you want your page back? No, no, <laughs> no, no, you no, 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 saying like he gets his. He he gets love on social yeah. media, like no, you know what I'm saying, like people yeah. who really love him and yeah. support him, like wholeheartedly. For real, yeah. yeah, he yeah. has to communicate yeah. with them. They mm. matter. You know yeah. what I'm saying. And so he is constantly sharing what he loves with those people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. And so, but he does it in privately too. Yeah. Now I'm the opposite, where I'm not really on. I might post every three months, yeah. and it's just my face. You yeah. know what I'm saying. And I and I almost purposely like anything that's important to me you probably won't see on social mm. media and so for him i have to be conscious of like you know he's he's putting all of that out there for me i kind of have to so, yeah. make an effort to like okay. make a post yeah, you know what okay. i'm saying but it's it's almost man, scary y'all. for me because it's like he's the most the most important thing to me i don't want to say anything about him on social media because yeah. i don't give a fuck about none of these people yeah, yeah. and that's real it's, yeah. It's, yeah. it's weird even like with the soap, at, at first I was super big on so I, I love so before even before the following I loved it more than yeah. now with the following. Yeah, and it's like I put even like for with, with her I was a little hesitant at first. Just I mean just cause you don't want the people. internet I is just had, a strange first, place. It's, 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 it's strange very it's very strange. Place. And then like, but I also know with her I also know I'm super solid. So can't yeah. nobody sit there yeah. and say. Can't nobody send no DM, no yeah. this year, yeah, yeah. or no screenshot saying I didn't did. So I'm also okay with putting that. But it's people like. My mom, who yeah, like, yeah. or be somewhere, somebody will stop her and say, "Hey, you hails it," mm. and she hates that. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So I keep that. I, I don't. I can't post. I don't post my mother on there. Like my sister mm. hate it, but my father love it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, he yeah. like, yeah, 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 yeah. like, yo, you want to post me, dog? Like, you, I got, lit, I got fresh <laughs> today, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it be on, and when I pull out, he be with the smoke. So it's like yeah. you kind of gotta know. Even like for her, she know I was big on. I mean, I love the social media thing, and I also knew her. She didn't, so it didn't bother me because I knew she wouldn't. Yeah. When she do, I get I get geek when I'm up like yeah, yeah nigga, that's yeah. me. I'm on it. Like, be honest, it look crazy. Yeah. Like first, they not used to men even like capping yeah. for their young and yeah. like loving their young and like yeah. that. So here I am, 
Yeah. I, love, I love this yeah. shit on my girl. Yeah. And then you go to her joint and it's just her. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, babe, where I'm at? Like, you know what I'm telling you? And, and you know, I'm, Instagram followers and, or, or following just yeah. be like, well, why? Oh, yeah, they're they sizing up. It's just like, yeah, why you feel like, oh, you a pick me ass. Yeah. Yeah. Like, 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 nigga, I got him fucked up, by the way. My girl, shall they get mad at me when I post her all the time? Like, I mean, I posted a picture. She like, up, you just post this about, like, at, no, like that's about, so random. No, let me tell you why. You, you, did y'all see the meme when it's like, yo, my boyfriend posts the ugliest picture of me. I like the picture. Like, I like, I like, I like it. And he was like, like, post, like a, that, post yeah, the ugliest like, picture of me. No, delete. I'm like, not the Because delete. I be like, damn, you couldn't get me like, you understand okay, like why my you wig wasn't crooked or something? And guess what? When I post that picture on Instagram, they like it too. And they literally like, come on. It's also something to get used to because at just women and men in general, it's a little different. Upbringing is a little different. Like y'all are in love now, and we've probably been in love before yeah. multiple times, yeah. and been mis- mistreated yeah. or or on some type of level, right? Yes. And so, talk about to, it. To post it on social media is never, like I ain't never been in love with um, nobody else. Yeah. Okay, oh good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you talk. I'm listening, it's, but it's like it's two, J, it's two J's on here. Get them out. Yeah, uh, I'm just I like, ain't doing this shit. shit only they be like, hey, you're the only one I ever met in my life. Swear. So by the time we, you know, we get to this age, it's like. Yeah. Been there, done that. Yeah, like, I said, she like so wait, yeah. no, wait, 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 wait. Like, stay right there, stay right there, stay right there, stay right there. Hold up, nah, fuck that. No, 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 I don't like that experience shit, bro. Cause if you ain't like it, then don't mean you ain't gonna like it. Now let's try it again. You know what I'm saying? If you did something with your ex, you ain't like, man, do it again with me if I want to do it. Okay. You know and like, so the next time like you it. get defensive, all of that, your family shit, all of that shit that you you done went through that made you the defensive man. Yeah. I need you to cut that shit out. Yeah, cause it's, 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 it's a new experience. experience. <laughs> Hello, talk about it. It's a new fucking experience. But no, experience. I just feel like, yo, I been, like, it's been things like, you know, and rightfully so. You know, this might be a little off the radar, but I'm sorry, but like, you know, it's things that you don't like. You might tried it with your ex or whatever and you understand you don't like this you got a preference now but i want to try it with you <laughs> let me, let me, try it again yeah. and tell me you don't make, like it make sure you don't like it with me right yeah. Yeah. You, know what I'm saying? Like, you, like, you done got you done got tattoos and piercings <laughs> and fucking did this and that and that and that and now i'm like babe let's no, I don't uh, so, Jay that asked me, so let me tell you about that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yesterday, no, hold on. Yesterday, yesterday. Whoa, whoa. No, no, I'm telling because you was a wild guy. Right. Yesterday, <laughs> his friend is here. I don't know. He on the phone with some white girl. They talking about shrooms. Jay like, baby, you want to try shrooms with me? I'm like, wait, I ain't try no fucking shrooms. He said, oh, oh, oh. But when you was in college, you tried that Molly. With oh, the nigga. So, you, so wait, you can, you can do crack. You can do crack. You can do crack. Exactly. You, but wait, exactly. You can do crack. Look, you first of all, crack. Of Molly is not Molly crack. Molly is crack. It's not Molly crack. is crack cocaine what? and all that goes, put together. It is that. Like, crack? Molly, Molly is all is like that together. Some more shit. Yeah. Okay, coke Nigga, and crack so is not the same well, thing. Okay. Why are you and, advocating and, like that? No, I'm so just saying. <laughs> you're so, not the same. Hold up. And not so is same. fucking <laughs> sugar. So what are we talking about? Yeah, don't like, mean bullshit. Listen, I'm telling you. Listen, you can do Molly, right? You can do coke with whoever you act, whoever, whoever the fuck, right? But I'm like, babe, let's try this. You say, no. The shrooms are a little more healthier. And also, right. how old were we? Because I'm going to be young forever. Y'all heard me say, I'm not doing it. <laughs> not don't, don't crack. crack black, don't crack, so don't <laughs> try to crack now. Shrooms, shrooms. It's okay. It seems more adult than It does, but I was also young when I tried Molly. It sounds like y'all need to practice boundaries. You did it with your boyfriend, right? And what's up with my boundaries? You did it with your boyfriend? I was young. Did you do it with your boyfriend? I did. Right. So if you're if your other, if your new boyfriend, we gonna be together forever, right? We gonna be together forever, right? We, are, we are gonna be together forever. All right, but man. No. Somebody gonna say He's no. He's out of pocket. I know. Who the fuck out? Somebody said no. <laughs> Y'all Brandon out downfall. I'm like, yeah. all right. So I'm like, petty. Expand his mind with, with, a, with no, a couple of No, I just wanna go. I wanna exceed love and experiences, do it with right? You. I, I, did, I, I like trips. I didn't say. He said a shroom trip. It's Yeah, I like trips. Shawty always be like, I love experiences. Ain't we in a pan? Now I'm gonna go to museums. Now he talking about shrooms. I don't understand. Okay, so is there a certain setting that he can take you where you will actually try shrooms, like maybe, maybe in Bali? Maybe try shrooms with you. I try shrooms. She said. Really she said in Bali. Really you gotta take her to Bali. Bali. Okay. So you want to do the same and, thing that other nigga did with this? That's crazy. And that, like, and that, and why can't I try it? And then you wanna she'll try it. Indonesia. Compromise. And we can try the shrooms. We can <laughs> Yo, do that. Ninja. <laughs> I am Nisha. Wow. What the fuck is going on? Like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know what you're talking about. Hey, yo. So, so another theme that uh, was in the movie, of course, is the narcissism that she felt. You would bring that up right now. Of course. Talk about it, Alex. The please. narcissism that she felt that he was putting out. 
And basically when she was saying that I could have another person on my arm or holding on to somebody else's arm and you wouldn't even look at it like it's nothing mm -hmm. because you're so full of yourself. Mm -hmm. So, but the question that I had is the difference between narcissism and confidence in a relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What is the fine line between being mm -hmm. narcissistic? Like, Y'all want me to be jealous. Come on, like, Alex. Talk want, to him. Like, you want me to be jealous because you talking to another nigga. I just know I'm that nigga and you ain't going nowhere. Straight, like what's wrong with that? Like that. I ain't, I'm not and if you go trip. somewhere, you And how much arm you on? Because you ain't that crazy either to be on up on. I mean. No <laughs> how much arm are you on? <laughs> a little bit of a lot. We talking about four you, arms, you, you, talking want, yeah. you want me power up on cuz? Or be confident and be like, hey, boo. How you, what, what you want me to do in Ladies, that? Because I'm, 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 I'm a narcissist if I sit there and tell you what you doing on his arm, get your ass. But but, but, yeah, that, but guess what? I'm also a narcissist if I don't care about it because I, now I'm full of myself. Yeah. I'm confused. What does this word really mean? Well, I think she might have been a little off with that, maybe. I think um, no, it confidence it, and, yes, and jealousy... <laughs> confidence and jealousy narcissism is a whole a whole nother Read the definition Alice please thing. so it's a disorder in which a person has inflated a sense of self self importance the narcissistic personality disorder is found more commonly in men allegedly assess <laughs> Uh, the causes are unknown, but it's likely a combination of genetic and environmental factors. So with that being said, what do y'all think? So I think that, you know, because the second part of what she said is, you know, she would be on his arm. He wouldn't even care, but he'd turn to her and be like, babe, where's the, uh, mm -hmm. find me the, uh, mm -hmm. get me the, uh, what's the person's birthday? Mm -hmm. Tell me what I got to do. I where are you, you going? And I think I that's where. Why are you on his arm? <laughs> but I guess he's not even asking that. But, he, he, but, but he not, that. see you how you ask that. Okay, that's you get what I'm saying. Okay, he he didn't even you. he wouldn't even ask because he don't even care. But, but babe, where's my jacket? Uh, where's my pen? Get the pad. But get what the, I'm asking the, you is, and I think that that's where. Why are you so entitled that I'm just here at your disposal and your need, but you don't even care that potentially you're not giving me enough attention that I'm even elsewhere? And I think that's the bigger issue there. Like, why like, are you so full? Like her. <laughs> I think it's like, because <laughs> my like opinion, right? I'm always mm -hmm. asking you for for things. Where are my keys at, baby? Oh where, where are my wallet? Like, I'm always <laughs> asking you to <laughs> help me. I feel like, what I think, my mom she, I think that's a what part of- What my mom said, if his head wasn't screwed on his body, he wouldn't find out but either. honestly, yeah. I feel like, I mean, let's be real. Like, come on. Uh, I know I know all the fellas are going to agree with me on this. Like, part of a girlfriend's purpose of being oh, a girlfriend wow, is wow, to tell wow, us where our stuff is at. Wait, 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 Get the no, white flag. Get the no, white no. motherfucking flag. Cause I ain't doing that shit. Nah, nah, we're not about to do that. Shit today. So can we say? So can we say part of a part of a man's role as a boyfriend is to be, be a provider, right? Be a protector, no. right? What were you about to say? I'm saying so. <laughs> I'm just saying a part of a part of a man's role as a boyfriend is to be a provider, protector. So why can't I say a part of y'all role of being a girlfriend? What's wrong with that? A, wait, a, a part of what? A part of the role of being a girlfriend is helping me find my stuff. Just like a part of, <laughs> like a part of, like a part of me being your boyfriend is to fucking take the trash out. Why can't we say that? What's what's wrong with that? Like shit, like God, y'all was ready to cancel and me what, already. Like, and, and what and what he's saying is that a benefit of having a great woman by your side. <laughs> it's the delivery. It's, it's when the you delivery. it's when you forget things. I got somebody else. I have, I have somebody oh, else. So, so it's delivery. Right, it's so, fucking so delivery. Thank you, thank it's you. delivery. So what I'm saying is, all right, I'm a a great girlfriend will help you remember things that you so, may have lost. So all I'm saying is, right, to get back to my point, my point is I'm always going to be relying on you to help me that be my extra pair of eyes, right? Okay. So what's wrong with me? If that's me already, right? Why does that play a part in me not caring if you're on somebody else on because I'm already doing what I'm already expecting that from you? Like, I'm, why can't I just be confident that so our love is great? Why can't I be confident that God got us? Why can't I be confident in myself that know that you're not and and, going anyway? Why we got to add that extra? Like, I think that anything, always, and, and this is what I'll say. I think that anything you do in excess is already detrimental. So like, mm -hmm. for example, like, yeah, you might see, you might think like, we solid. Like she ain't on there doing that. Like, you may, I don't know. He might be, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why you'd be on the arm like that, right. but like, right, right. <laughs> but not the, last, I think the first. arm is a bad example. Yeah, I think the arm was mm -hmm. a bad example. However, just like I know you're not doing nothing, so I'm not worried about it, mm -hmm. right? However, now if I'm just out here keep hanging on a nigga arm just to get your attention, you really just not saying nothing. It's like well, why, damn. I'm a narcissist because I don't. I'm not saying nothing. Nah, if anything, you're a narcissist for keep doing it. You're the problem. Like, come on. All right, like, all right. Well, fair point. So fair point. So Zendaya, I'm sorry, baby. I don't think you want to call me a narcissist. Because I don't think you did a good job with it. Yeah, I think, I think she, she 
still see? feels like he's a narcissist, but that was just a bad Example, reason. Why, yeah. why are you on his yeah. arm? Like, that's my yeah. Yeah. Like, you, you the narcissist because you keep doing something to get my attention and yeah. it ain't working. It and it's not working now, you mad. Man, you need some confidence, Snake. Pick your confidence up, baby. All right, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Want to get to the shits? You want to? Let's get to the shits. Y'all ready to have some fun? I don't really be giving a fuck about this shit, but I guess... Jay hates the trend. I'll be like, because we're like Kim, Kim K, Kanye West. I'm sorry. What's happening? Them, I guess. You're getting a divorce. Go ahead, Alice. I I thought, so I kind of like what was interesting about it is the fact that, well, Sade brought it up on the conversation yesterday. This is her fourth divorce. Damn. And So was you Sade's, the problem, baby? This is what Ooh. she do. At what point Clearly. do you admit that Ooh. you're the problem? She not. She she just going to keep on getting her. She got, she got, yeah, she she got, got a check, too. So. Yeah. She never she got kids. Yeah, she got different, she, she got different yeah, problems. Yeah, <laughs> Mind you, they're splitting what you say two two point one billion dollars. That's what they split. Are on the line. Yeah, yeah. It's actually not divorce. a problem. It's equaling out very well for her. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah, this is making out. Know. Shorty been after this. I think she was at the, her jack, jackpot from the beginning. She found it, and now she ready to just cash out. Man, like I don't even got a little to Ray like J. No more. Shout out to Ray J. Ooh, so the question is, I like Ray J. I like her. What part of got to do with this? She would that she that's how she got on. That was her assistant. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yo, so let me ask you since you right now, right? How would you feel if you Ray J? I know Ray J ain't got <laughs> shit to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> but how would you feel if you the person that loses in this situation is Ray J? Uh, because, not, not if you're not if, not if you're a narcissist. I feel like Ray J. <laughs> Now, the only, only thing, Dang. only thing with Ray J, Ray J so damn smart. Ray J getting them, Ray J getting he getting bread. them checks. He, 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 he getting them little ass. Yeah, he ain't getting Ray Carr checks. He ain't getting Kirk Carr checks. Y'all not about to play like y'all not to play. Y'all not, not about to play with Ray J like that. Not getting Kim K. Jones. The only thing, but he couldn't. Shit, the most he, he should have got her pregnant. I mean, like if that's what we, if, if he wanted something out of the deal, like if he wanted, wait, like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying, if he wanted something out, the, like if if we gonna switch, like what did Ray J get out of the deal? The most he could have got out of the deal was a kid. Facts. He wasn't gonna get nothing out of the deal. I feel yeah, like the only, I think a, that a man, a man, a man gets nothing out for for messing with a a, a a star, even though she wasn't a star then. So like, even we looking at Ray J and Kim K now, like. The only thing way he can benefit now is if he had a kid. He tried to get his 15 off the I hit it first, but I think the real yeah, and, and that was it. Yeah, but yeah. the real loser in this the Kim Kardashian and Kanye West Alex, breakup, I think sure, the sure. real <laughs> the real loser is Ray J. I don't think Hold Ray up. J is not no. I think he's the real loser. Like no. shit. And again, it's Jay like I want my I want I want I ain't mad at I feel like Ray J getting the check. Yeah, y'all have RJ fucked up. And he getting it the way he, the yeah. little scooty bikes and them damn glasses. Yeah, them scooty bikes going fucked up. crazy. <laughs> yeah, I ain't mad at him. But no, I hate though. the name scooty bikes. Seriously bike. though, like, Grow up. do we, <laughs> why is this so important though? So, it's not, it's not the reason why I felt like it was important is because you get divorced four times. It made me think about like the top reasons for divorces. Mm. So I looked them up. Let's go, <laughs> Alex, trust, trust, trust. producer Alex. I know we're, not, we're not married yet, but we all hope to get married one day. And that's and correct. I feel like going into a relationship, if we know the main reason why they in, we could we could better ourselves so it doesn't happen. Uh -huh. So that way to make it make sense, you know what I'm Come saying? On, producer. That's why they pay us a big bucks for real. <laughs> but uh the number one thing was infidelity or extramarital affairs. Mm. Number two was too. trouble with finances. Mm. Number three was lack of communication. That's the biggest Four, one. Four constant me. arguing. Number five, weight gain. Uh, really? Number yeah. five? Niggas out here Six breaking up with people because they was, gain weight. <laughs> Damn. Six was unrealistic expectations. Okay, I feel like that's yeah. number one. Seven was lack of intimacy. Mm. Eight was lack of equality. Mm. Damn. Nine was not being prepared that's for marriage. One. And ten was emo physical and emotional. I'm surprised abuse. that's what's, number ten. What's y'all what's right, number right, right, right. What's y'all number ones on the list? Um mine's will be number six. Unrealistic, unrealistic expectations. expectations. Mm, okay. I can see that. My number one would be number three, mm -hmm. lack of communication. Damn. Mm -hmm. What about you, Zoe? Shit, number nine. You're not prepared. I think a lot of people get married without even they get married yeah. to the wrong for the people. wrong reason. Yeah, and a lot oh, of people prepared for marriage. Uh -huh. I think my my number one. I mean, yeah, my number one Thank probably you. would be unrealistic expectations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I feel like you know I'm always um we talk about expectations, right? And I mm -hmm. think that's a normal thing, but it's like I take away my expectations. Thank you, but then expect again, right? Yep. It's like, okay, like, bad. Yes. I'm not going to expect you to do anything, but I'm going to expect you mm -hmm. to come around eventually. Like, mm -hmm. what the fuck are you talking about? Mm -hmm. So I think, I think my, my. Oh, yeah. And I think with expectations, you kind of got to be like super solid in yourself mm -hmm. yeah. to not expect shit that's from why nobody. That's why yeah. the unrealistic part is so like. And, yeah. and, and that sounds, so, that kind of sounds wild because like, 
as people was like, I'm okay. I can yeah. expect things, you know. Yeah. I can have standards. Yeah. I can expect things out of him, but it's unrealistic. What's the difference though? The standard and, and expectation. Mm. Well, standard is like standard is for myself. Mm. Expectation is like what a I projection. What I put on you. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, projection. Yeah. You know. Yeah. That was so, a can you, that, yeah. that was, that was a word. That was good. You might have put that a quote on a yeah. sweatshirt. Gem, 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 gem. Say that again. Gem. 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 Profound too. Um, see, y'all gonna fuck me up. I can't. <laughs> that's that's why I record. You gonna see him like that. Like, that's, that's, that's my quote yeah. right there. Yeah. They gonna be like, "Damn, that was deep." Yeah, yeah that was deep. That was yeah, deep. I, I think it's a difference, and so like you kind of gotta be, and and that goes into being prepared for marriage. Mm-hmm. I feel like you kind of, you really have to be happy with yourself, mm-hmm. and 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 I gotta know that like nobody can make me happy but me. Yes, yes. And then so that way it's not it's not pressure on him. Yes. So all I want him to do is make himself happy. Yes. And yes. then we can be happy together. Exactly. You know what I'm Talk to him. Like, I think, I think that's where you go wrong, though, honestly, yeah. because that was good. Right it's there. like, you yeah. know, we 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 don't make ourselves happy, happy first. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm tripping. That drink must have got me. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to that. Is that that Mahi? Is that Mahi? That's the brandy, baby. But no, nah, so like, um, that thing hit too. Yeah. No, nah, it does. It do. It do. It creep up on you. Take it easy. We have these conversations when we grown, right? But I feel like we need to start having these conversations with our kids. Yeah. I'm saying the youth, because. I never known about making myself happy yep. until mm-hmm. I'm about to be 30. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. they're like, why could not learn this shit early? I would have avoided so many mistakes, right? And I, I feel like that's the most important part yeah. about it, like and making a, yourself yeah. happy. A, a lot of us don't, like you said, I wish that's something we, we would have known earlier. That's something that I, I preach to the babies. Like, first, if I'm not, I can't do nothing for her yeah. if I ain't right. You know yeah. what I mean? If I'm, my shit ain't right, I can't yeah. do nothing for, for her to be right, vice versa. Can't nobody do nothing for yeah. nobody if you ain't right. So I think we focus, even like focus just more on Yourself, even yep. like we, it been so many times where we like, I right, look, we gonna go do this separately, yep. and yep. then come, come back. back. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Ask y'all okay. something. I wanna, okay, because well, 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 I wanted well, to ask y'all, like when it when it comes to like we spend so much time together, yeah. we work together, yeah. um, we basically live together yeah. in the yeah. pandemic, you know, and then so like, no damn, basically, <laughs> we damn, live the, together. The first came together. and the bills <laughs> came and we, pay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we basically <laughs> live together. Um, and so now it's kind of just like finding that healthy balance of like yeah, space, space. Mm-hmm. you know, and it's like it's space that you don't want, but yeah. you know that it's yeah. healthy yeah. for for both of y'all. Yeah. Even yeah. like, and damn, we have we having a conversation right now in the middle of this. Mm-hmm. But um, like I just, just space that just, you don't want. He just got a house. Yeah. So like, oh, I just, congratulations. I just, I just congratulations! Thank y'all. First, that's shit. Yeah, nah, <laughs> you better tell him because <laughs> I love no, this no, too. She, she, she had she had a house. I get a drawer. I get a whole half of the closet. I got the house with with her all in mind. I mean, I took her. The house that she didn't like, I didn't get. Aww. So it's, it's where, but I, I say that to say, like, even, t- uh, and she told me, I'm like, well, shit, when, when I get this, Joan, you can, like, nah, she like, I'm gonna stay at mine, shit, and we going and I was messed up off of that at first, yeah. but I'm like, damn, we really, I don't get to miss her because I'm always, yeah, yeah, I, you know what I mean? Like, so even like our dates are like, yeah, um, come on, boo, let's get something yeah. to eat instead mm. of, Man, get dressed. I'm gonna come get you. Yeah. Like, the schedule. other day, I told her like, yeah. come over to my house for dinner, and I never told her yeah. that before. Aww. So like, for me to like sit there and like cook dinner, like yeah. go grocery store, cook dinner for, yeah. and, like make, I'm like, damn, damn. that shit tight. It yeah. is tight. Yeah. Even like vice versa, we go to grocery store together, and I might do something, but it's way different for her to say, hey boo, come on over for dinner tonight. Yeah. You know what I mean? And she, yeah. it's, it's a way different dynamic. So yeah. the space that I'm like, hell yeah, I want, I want, I like my, like I like yeah. my girl. Okay. So. I want to be. I'd much yeah. rather be with my girl than a, a mm-hmm. bunch of niggas all day. Yeah, straight like that. <laughs> yeah, but um, Facts. but now that I'm like, we get them like, I know I need the space. I want to miss you. Yeah, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. I I want to I want to talk to you after not talking to you because right. sometimes I'm like. Yeah. You just be in that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm right here and she upset. I'd be like, oh, what man. you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, nah, straight so, up. Um, so for us, say? it's just for like, <laughs> so <laughs> for us, it's a little different. So Jay Little. actually, um work pre-pandemic jay was working all the time mm. so like it was one of those things where i used to like be upset for time mm. um so we had a switch through the pandemic because i work from home now and you know you know pandemic switches so the amount of gigs he had at that time she he doesn't up. have you know what i'm saying yeah. like so he's home a oh, lot more me, babe. Yeah, I got but you. it's okay you know it slowed up yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay she's looking for the right words like yeah. it's all <laughs> 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 i love you babe. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you flowers i'll Panini, see you. whatever I appreciate so it. um you know so now um i actually enjoy it now because Prior to it, I didn't really get to see him. Like, I'm yeah. like, what the fuck? You're always working. Like, I'm irritated. You know, I'm taking me, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, where we going? But since 
the pandemic has hit and now we've been home so much. Now I feel like it's a different dynamic and I kind of appreciate it a little bit more because then I didn't get as Mm -hmm. much and I know this is going to end soon. Mm -hmm. So, and it's going to be right back to work. So So it's okay. But like, even now, like I think, um, I think Jay, you know, he works a lot. So some things that I'm not a part of when he works, like when he does his other interviews and he leaves with his cameraman and he does his thing, I'm not around for that. So it kind of gives us that space to not, be around and because i've been working from home i've been fucking sick and tired of being in the house mm-hmm. i don't want to see nobody mm-hmm. like not even her mm-hmm. so you know what i mean so i'd be like everybody get the fuck away from me um so i think we still get a fair share of i miss you you know what i'm saying but i think it's also always important to take your time like to yourself Absolutely. like because like you know i you know i went to the gym by myself you know that was like my time like you know what i'm saying like and he was gone with me for a second and you know and i was just like oh, I hope this doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Like now it's like, this is my personal space, like (laughs) personal space. But I think it's still just important to always do your own thing. And sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like whatever you do, like, you know, go hang with your girls, like go get your nails done. Mm-hmm. Go, sure. go just get mm-hmm. the fuck out the house. Mm-hmm. Go do your thing. Like, you know, but it's a hard balance. Cause like Jay and I are one of those couples too. We love to be with each other. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm a cool bitch. So he <laughs> likes to hang with me, but you know what I'm saying? Like, just like he likes to yeah. hang with you. It's like, it's cool. Like, cause we go out, we do things together, but, um, just being mindful of just still having your own personal space mm-hmm. because sometimes it can get like claustrophobic. It's like, and like, we, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got a house yet, but we live in an apartment. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> nice nowhere to go in here. Somebody find another room, something, yeah. God damn. Yeah. But for the most part, you know. Listen, cheers to couples who survived a pandemic. Yes. Nah, oh my God. Nah, yes, yes. Because nah, we, like, we've survived. Yeah. Oh, nah, Fuck us. You cheers to that. Nah, no cap. Like, cheers to that. This shit was hard. Because it'll make or break you. I mean, how started. hard was it? Shit. It'll make what? or break you. What? How hard was I'm it? I'm just saying shit. You said hard. You are getting divorced. Basically, what he's saying is he's just spending that much time with anybody for that long amount of time. You know what I asked? Hey, y'all ever seen? Listen, no cap. That, that's a lot. <laughs> this is what I asked. Well, y'all was saying, I love having fun. Like, we have our space. I'm like, shit, where? I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you. This is what I asked. I literally said, I said, yo, people in relationships only. This is on Twitter. That's how much I meant this shit. I said, yo, y'all been hanging out still? <laughs> I said, like, like on a regular. Like, how, how y'all manage that? Because, like, I do work a lot. Right? Yeah. Even, even when it's slowed up, I work a lot. And it's like, bro. And when I'm not working, my girl want to hang out because rightfully so. Like, mm-hmm. I'm always working. But I'm thinking like, yo, how do I need, I barely can promote a party because who the fuck gonna come at this point? Cause it's like, I'm not even outside. Like how do I need to be outside? But like, that's how, that's how I built my brand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like when you're in a relationship, like you, you consume the work and when you're not at work, of course you got to give time to your significant other. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, how do niggas be have time to hang out and kick it? Cause yeah. damn. And, and Jay mine is always on work too. Yes. So like. Well, we can't get JB sitting there like, start, I see yeah. him fucking, his mind start working and he like, he pick up the laptop. I'm like, mm, what the fuck? Put the laptop <laughs> down, okay? Put the laptop down, okay? But see, you know, Jay me. is really yeah, good at like, that he, moon. Uh, and we be trying to get out of that. <laughs> yeah. she, she work all, but, and then we do shit together. We yeah. work, we got so many shit, uh, yes. so many projects mm-hmm. that we do together, but we try to get out of that yeah. too. Cause when we, we be just yeah. working, I'm like, damn Facts. it, we trying to a date. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, fuck, I want to be like, creative. Well, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? But we really, I mean, that's how we started, right. though. We, it was our our dates before we were together was um, <clears throat> like strategy session. It, it was like, come on, boo, let's work. I mean, and not even come on, boo. It was like, right. hey, Asia, what you doing today? Mm-hmm. Like, nothing. Like, you bring want, your laptop. Right. Then we let's go to let's do some work together. And that yeah. shit for me, I'm like, well, I ain't going on a date. We work. <laughs> our laptops out, so it kind of didn't count. But okay, that yeah. makes sense. All right, yeah. y'all about to throw y'all a curveball. Let's go, Alex. Please, yeah. Cause it's been, it's been so much love, you know. I got those. Oh, you know, I just you know, felt a little funny too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 it's too much. Like, we just reminiscing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> too much love in it, you know. <laughs> just gotta talk about. But Boosie, has look, everybody. Ah, uh, look, everybody already. I fuck a Boosie. Shit. Yeah. That's my name. I thought, I thought somebody boo. told him to shut the fuck up. I thought, <laughs> I, I thought his the mama last told video, his mama told him if he don't have. He should listen to his mother. And I was, I was rocking. I rock with, I rock with, Bo- I rock with the struggle. So when people come from the struggle and they make it out the struggle, I rock with that wholeheartedly. Boosie with this shit, Boosie. But we also gotta realize, Boosie well, a nigga from where he from. Yeah. He yeah. been saying what he been saying. Yeah. And for us to expect anything different from that joint or mm-hmm. or to i don't hold boosie to no high regard yeah, to where i'm okay. expecting him to say anything, anything different than mm-hmm. what he's saying mm-hmm. so when he said this shit, i'm like that's some shit boosie was i don't agree with it but i'm like that's some shit boosie is yeah. saying but it don't give me up it's little boosie yeah like little boosie is yeah. a 
It's Boosie. So, uh, so for the people that don't know what Boosie said, essentially, he suggested that male, in regards to the Lori Harvey being I love dating, how you, I love how you putting this. <laughs> Boosie suggested that. So he suggested, <laughs> <Hatchet> suggested <laughs> that male bachelors get hey, the same, should get plenty of cr- criticism, <laughs> but it's not the same for women. He said we sh- we should start giving the bachelors, the men, are you kidding? What are you running this? through on a, you, hey, an Alex, interview you gotta with say, Vlad you gotta TV. Say, uh, on Friday night. On Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> a cold Friday night. Like, in a recent interview on Vlad TV. <laughs> on Vlad TV. <laughs> get your bag, Alex. I got with snow there. <laughs> so basically, uh, he said we need to, he, we have to give criticism, the same criticism to women mm. as we do to men who are bachelors. So is he? Go ahead. And basically, he alludes to talk about the Lori Harvey situation. The most criticism. Okay. In what situation do women not get the most criticism? I don't know. Boosie living in his world, but (laughs) the question is essentially new dating norms because we see Lori Harvey and she's free and she's out here and you know it created a debate on social media between millennials and Gen Z because ironically, Boosie's a millennial. I ain't know that, but I had to look at the chart Mm -hmm. because he's thirty eight. So there's a new norm where. We see Meg Thee Stallion. We see Lori Harvey. Doing just anything. more free, you know, yeah. and is dating. And he goes, he said that men, he calling Michael B. Jordan a simp for oh, yeah. wiping somebody that has been, quote unquote, ran through. He called him a simp? Man. A simp. Oh, wow. When we talk about... <clears throat> what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what, what's, what's the question? So what is your take on that? The new dating norms, ain't essentially... No new, ain't- Everybody you talk to, then talk to somebody, then, then, then ran through whatever y'all want. Whatever ran through means is it that she got three bodies or thirty. Whoever we talk to has a past. Anyway, I also think now all they doing is making it public. People been doing this. This shit ain't nothing yeah. new. Yeah, niggas been girls and had plenty of niggas and niggas and had plenty of girls. It just so now we got social media where it's like, it's oh, right I dated here. this person, that person. I'm like, no, it's like a badge also, of honor. And I'm and I'm with it, I'm, man. They who you want to date until you. Exclusive. Find the right one, and and that's how I go. Like I don't, I'm with all that with women and men. Like yeah, ladies, get them, get the meals out the deal for real. Hey yo, man, I'm, I'm the with that. Deal. And, listen, as a as a as a as a man, like before I was in a relationship, if I wanted a fe- if I wanted female companionship and I needed that shit, the least you could do is get them some damn dinner. So fuck if I'm a talk if if we gonna talk and we gonna sit here you gonna eat I'm gonna get what I give some kind. Bro, of I don't know what girls you later. dating, but ain't nobody asking for no fucking dinner now. They want Birkin bags and motherfucking well, Dior's and shit <laughs> like yeah. Nah, I'll, nah, I'll be nah, sure to get you some dinner like that's like twenty dollars. Like they, I get a they dinner all the time. Off rip. They didn't want getting that. The most you could <laughs> the most you could have got from me was dinner, and that was the most. And we was probably happy out. He so not, we, he not talk about me, y'all. No, no, no. You better you know, tell her. I, I was just letting. I was just letting people know. Before, you better tell her. What I would say is, period. What I would say as a grown up, right? As a grown, <laughs> as a grown man, I feel like yeah, like you should be able to do do whatever you want. Now, let me not be a simp myself. I do think that like it is kind of overkill when I keep saying you with a different nigga on Instagram. Is that my business? I don't give a fuck. But if you ask me my opinion, I'm gonna tell you my opinion. I don't know who asked him, but the my fact- opinion is like. It ain't, it's just distasteful for me, but that's what you do. That ain't yeah. none of my business. No, it don't like, affect me. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah, I don't give yeah. a fuck. Now, what I will say is at 25, I think I had this conversation. At 25, yeah. would I date a woman that dated all these people, whatever it can be? Probably not, because my mind was different. At, now, at I'm almost 30. We ain't even call, at 25, I wouldn't even sh- date. And was we even date? What the hell is at date? 25? I mean, I was trying to. I mean, yeah, you the just fact hit, is you one around is, hitting shit at 25. The fact is, one is nobody's 25. business. Mm-hmm. Period. <laughs> the, the second fact, the second fact is that if I'm 20, she's 25 or 20, she's 20, she just turned 25. Yeah, she, I, mean, she, she, I didn't even know that. She, no, I, oh, I, I she's, she's, she's 22. I was saying me. She's 22. Right. 22. I think she's young, young. She's so, young, young. So she's yeah, 22. Man, she and, so, just... and so we also did not have social media. Right. At yeah. that time when we were doing whatever the fuck we wanted to do yeah. as we what should I know at 22. Not, yeah. but, uh, right? And so the fact that your she's father or whatever, 25. you feel like it's, you shouldn't know what she's doing on social media, yeah. that's what the fuck they do. Yeah. Mind your fucking business. Yes, Ooh. period. And I also feel like, I don't know. Who you I, I feel I like she was talking to me. I feel like she was, <laughs> I feel like she looked the way, like on purpose and had to be, 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 be and, respectful. And, she like, and, yeah. and hold on. Okay, it's hello. Mine. So it's all, all of this conversation going on about a bitch who has not said one one motherfucking word. Never. Y'all haven't I don't even know what her, her voice. she sound like. She, I don't even think she talks. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know, so I don't know if the girl really talk. <laughs> I mean, I, I, again, like, I don't I don't really care. But I mean, if somebody's... So what I will say is, um, the only thing I don't like, when he says, like, 
women well i'm trying to clarify is he saying women should receive the same backlash as men because i don't really feel I like thought he was so saying men, men, no, 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 i don't know really what he's so. saying is niggas man no, no, no. I'm sorry. What we talking about no. the same person that have women like spreading their vaginas. Put your pussy lips on, on love. On, 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 so, that, so does that make the conversation okay? Or, no, it or make it like that. We got to gotta realize the nigga who we talk about. But yeah. that's, but that's, yeah. so that's what I was saying. So I'm just, I'm just being, and sometimes I get in trouble. I'm just being completely transparent. Like I ain't scared. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying like as a man, as a nigga, right? Coming from the hood, whatever it can be. My background, I feel like as a 25 year old, I can understand what he's saying. However, I'm not 25 anymore. But at 25, I was like, you had sex. Oh, I, I, I cared about your body count. I cared about little things. I Like, now I'm about to be 30. I understand that you got yeah, a fat. I, I don't yeah, give yeah. a fuck about that. Like, you're a grown up. You probably had sex. Well, we did the numbers. I'm like, oh, damn. Well, shit. But at 25, Wait, having whoa, that whoa, conversation. Not, <laughs> not, yeah, 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 not me. Yeah, yeah, not you, not you. Not me. Not you, not you. I'm we saying, had like, a conversation. We had a conversation about, like. The fucking podcast yeah. of what. The normal you. body yeah. type. Yeah, I just so, relax. So what, I, so, so what I'm saying relax. is like as a, as a as a grown man, it's like, bro, I Mind understand that yeah. we have yeah. we people have, you know, past and, and shit. That shit don't yeah. matter. But and I'm not gonna lie, at twenty five I probably was judging. But it goes so. into like, you know, So I he probably ain't mature yet. I might think you might be Boosie or Lori. So Boosie's right. probably ain't mature yet. That's for sure. Does he double back? Problem is he's forty. Yeah, And that's where I was. That's probably the problem. He doubled back. And essentially he said if you're accepting this, you're basically saying that you would want your daughter to have sex with seven, eight, nine niggas in a couple months. It's and you'll be okay with it's that. Flaw. But, it's flaw. It's a flaw ass statement. But it, 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 go ahead. So, go ahead. I mean, like, no, no, I don't want my daughter to have sex like, with okay. seven, eight men in a couple months. No, I don't. But also, just, I don't want my daughter to have sex at all. Exactly. I mean, so. Like, that's <laughs> what I was about to say. Like, I mean, you, when you think about your kids, that you might be dumb too. Oh, wow. I mean, it might be wild. But again, I'm not about the. I'm not about the. Yeah, like. I'm not about to like. Yeah. Nobody will say I, I want my right. Nobody yeah. wanna say yeah. this yeah. out loud. Of course but I, I would but at the like same her time, to do that. Like, I understand. What? Like it's like yo. At but the end I also she's grown. Like, she could do what the fuck yeah. she wants. And want. like I said, in the terms of minding your business, I just think that at this big age that you are, Boosie, like these is young kids' business. Let them young yeah. kids do what you Facts. was doing at your young kid up. age. That's Whether all you're Boosie in, do. yeah, just shut up, bro. Wait, when did his opinion become like law? Like when when did he just keep having these? It's my opinions it's and it's Vlad. like okay. Oh, now they say from his black because we have like a hundred interviews with Vlad yeah. every yeah. other week. Like, like, all I, said, I think you're full time yeah. working yeah. at Vlad. Like, he, 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 he don't retain it with Vlad TV for sure. Yeah, because he keep coming out with these. It's like, why do we care what Boosie is saying? Because he gonna say some wild shit, and that's what they want to hear. Wild shit. That's what we talking about. He really like because he ain't had no mixtape or nothing coming out. He really be just he don't have no promo. He lost his Instagram. He lost it all. Bro, he a motherfucker. He's a what I say is personality love. Yeah. Glad. I'm trying okay. to tell you, like, he got a demand. Yeah. He just so, don't have, he, he got hit the social media like, shit, if I say this, yeah. he, he just on there giving this real live thought. Yeah, Facts. so. He went back and told his mother, like, <laughs> you don't have to, look, baby, look, look. Like, <laughs> mom, I'm sorry, but. Yeah, I'm just let me do what I do. Yeah. Like, up. just let me do what I do. So, you know, I know we wrapping up, but like, let us know, you know, what, what y'all do? What y'all, like, where y'all at? Where y'all at? What y'all oh, oh, do? This was so much fun. It was yes. fun. Yeah. Well, 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 what do you guys do? Like, plug yourselves, plug yourselves. Um, my name is Asia Sophia. Um, I am a creative coach. Yeah. So okay. um, that goes with like producing, mm. um, strategy, honestly, anything. I'm kind of just like a secret sauce to mm. everything. Ooh, secret want, sauce. I'm trying to tell you. I got some shit. Yeah. Yeah. Asia, let me ask you this question. Uh -huh. How irritated do you be when you try to get your sauce to Zell when you don't listen? <laughs> You be fucking irritated. <laughs> <laughs> I can pee. I'm just like, wait, she's a creative coach. Try coaching somebody that's and I and I and I be like, hey, he, I don't think that's the right way. And I'm like, I'm fucking gay. I'm <laughs> fucking gay. I don't think I think I've I've kind of mastered how to um you know make my ideas, you like you lying. make my ideas happen. I've mastered how to let her make her ideas happen. <laughs> So that's what you do, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Win win. Yeah. Exactly. Win win. Creative that's all, that's coach. All, that's all you do. What else you do? What else you got? What about the South Side Market? Oh, yeah. Like I wasn't you know, finished. I ain't lost. My fault. Go ahead. Do you know what I mean? South Side Market? Yes. Um, what is that? <laughs> you funny. <laughs> <laughs> The interview. <laughs> it's a um black owned market in DC. Yes. It's popping, y'all. It's like a really good time. So yes. much support. It's coming back April third. Yes. Um of yes. this year. We're gonna go to it, it don't matter. Y'all need to come on, on yes. April third. Yes. Spend some money with some dope black vendors. Um 
and yeah, have it up. It's a good time. Mm-hmm. Love to see village. it. I run Dream Village. See yes, yes. Okay. come on. You know everything. Yeah, do you you run the, you run the, you the just pray gave the me all the, the like pray that. the. We should have asked him yes. what you do. You yeah. know that's. We should ask him. You see, not miss anything. Yo, do we know he's saying thank you? Because like yo. I got like a lot of like um, notifications and shit, right? I got one notification that that reminds me every day to tell Shadi that she's working hard. Mm. Why don't do that oh, for us? So mm. beautiful. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. She was ready. That's beautiful. Nah, nah. <laughs> yeah. We supposed to be wrapping up. I'm about to get it started again. I'm That's sorry. such a beautiful idea. Where did you get that? Probably because she just complained about it all the time. So it's like <laughs> this is clearly what she wants. I'm trying to listen. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, all right, bet. Trying. <laughs> I'm trying. I trying. got that ain't the only reminder I got. Every saying. So like, you do believe in affirmation. I, I don't. Oh. But she does. So I'm trying to give so her. You do it because that's why I got notifications because wow. I don't remember. Look at that's, that. like, that's my love language. Love language. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be trying. Like I love it. Yeah. Thank you, Bella. Thank that's you. Appreciate you gotta it. listen. I be going. I go through her likes and just order this shit off of like Amazon. Yeah. Like, yes. So we go pay like, attention to the problem. The problem is she, she like use, too much shit. She don't use and she don't use the shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this shit in it. I'm like you. You're a strong man because I could, I wouldn't be able to afford the shit that she they like every day. Like she. Be, uh, nah, some shit I skip over. I don't. I didn't see it. Okay. She call me fucking. What's the nigga name off of uh Jason Pitts? Like I don't know. Oh, cause Jay. I ain't that cheap. It's just you be just wild and like, hey, like we ain't rich yet. He acts like Jason like, Pitts. Yo, she want to look like we rich. I'm like, I ain't babe. mad at that. I'd rather keep it in my pocket. You know, out. we can appreciate yes. men who keep us, you know, financially stable yes. at all times. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> that means, you know, I want to spend. And, and what is a man you, that keep you financially stable? You I think we help him. You give me a timeline. You, yeah. you, you know, yeah. I can, I can we spend help him manage it, but spend yes, over I got to make sure we're on the same page with that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So definitely yourself, helps dog. me yeah. manage yeah. my money. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. That's, that's we'd love to see Thank yeah. you. Thank you. <laughs> um, Azel Prather, <laughs> Hell's Ale. Um, I'm a teacher. Um, I got a nonprofit foundation, at, uh, the Prather Foundation. We just advocate for the youth. You know what I mean? We look out for the overlook. You know what I mean? We, we tap in with the community that people don't tap in with. Um, hosts, I mean, I, I do stand up, um, host shows. Um, just do it all, man. I, I just, I tell myself I'm for the people. I do the Southside Market with Asia. Yeah. Um, I do my foundation with Asia. What <laughs> 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 um, don't you do with Asia? Shit, uh, <laughs> I could tell you. Um, but no, nah, man, I just, I, I just, I do the work, man. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that y'all, I mean, had me come in, this super fun. But yeah, man, we just do the work on this side. Y'all, am I gonna ruin this if I gotta pee? No, go. No, we about to finish. We about to finish. We about to finish. Yeah, we about to finish. Yeah, okay. finish. Yeah, we about to finish. Okay. So, so, nah, so. Me, <laughs> John. I'll be in the same shit. That's me. All right. No, I do. It's a trick. It's Lex. Blame it on Lex. It's cool. Blame Lex. But yo, I do want to say, y'all, I appreciate y'all for coming out, man. Definitely a dope situation. Bay, we definitely, like, so we're trying to, like, you know, start having these conversations more because we just think it's dope to have other couples. You know, yeah. like highlight them. Especially people don't people. see it too. People exactly. don't see yeah. yeah. that yeah. fuck with each other in real life. Fuck with each other in real life. Niggas, we fuck with each other fake. We fuck with each other in real life. Toast to real life, man. Toast you know what I'm saying? Toast to real life. Uh, yes. Hey, yo, thank y'all. Thank y'all. Gemini thank Scorpio you. podcast, episode yes. 60. Hilla Bay. Gemini Moon, by the way. Mr. J Hill. That's pretty much it. It's a wrap. We out.